sorrowful The future looks bleak Remember our childhood To get us through the week We're getting re-enthused Back to the past and the things we used We all know that our pasts were great Escaping the things that today we hate Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused This is the Game Boy camera. Now normally it's used for taking fairly low quality pictures and printing them out on the Game Boy printer. But what if you want to take these pictures and put them onto your PC? Well, a guy called Brian Koo has come up with an Arduino project that allows you to do just that. And basically you do it by taking a Game Boy communication cable, and there's lots of these for cheap on eBay, just knock off ones, and splicing it to put into an Arduino. An Arduino, in case you don't know, is like a small microprocessor board that allows you to do projects with micro microprocessors like this one. So, let's give it a try. <clears throat> Let's plug the communication cable in there. Now if we plug the Arduino in here, we'll see that starts to light up, at least you can probably see. You're quite a way away, so I'll bring this closer. So anyway, so that's the, uh, the thing. Now, on the Mac, what we do is we upload this thing called a sketch, which is a program that runs on the Arduino. Once that's written, we can go back to the serializer, and we can see that stuff has popped up on the screen. Well, probably you can't see it as well as I can, but hey. Uh, so, now if we turn on the Game Boy, it will boot into the pocket camera code. This is the Japanese version. Uh, we go across to the print, and we've already got a picture in there. There's, there's me with all of my chins, so that'll make a nice photo. So we choose to print, and we go up and then if we click print, now you won't be able to see it perfectly, but you should see all of the stuff kind of appearing now. There we go. Uh, so this is basically the code for that picture. This is the, um, the data that makes up that picture which would normally go to the Game Boy printer. Now, as you see it going up the screen, you're probably thinking to yourself, that doesn't look much like a printer, and of course it isn't. Right, so there we go, that's the print process finished. So. What do we do with this then? What do we do with this, all of this text to make it into a picture? The same guy has also made this web page and a bit of JavaScript to go in the background. And when you run it, if we just replace his existing photo with the code that we've just taken from our serial monitor and then hit update, and there we are. That's the picture from the Game Boy and we can save it just as we normally would any other picture from the internet. And you can do whatever you want for them. So there you go, it's a fabulous project. Well done to Brian Koo. It's very, um, it's an interesting one and they're not great pictures but they're kind of, it's an interesting way to get the data from an old system like that. Thanks for watching.